very famous person and he has visited Kolkata on the 29th International Kolkata Film Festival. He's a, he's a main person in the jury board. Uh, Lawrence Kurdish, who was curator of films and uh, video in uh, none other than the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art uh, in New York. So Lawrence, um, coming back to you, how was this um, entire um, uh, film festival? How did you like it? This, this is not the first time you're visiting Kolkata. No, this is the first time I've been first time. Time. It's not okay. my first time I've been to India. I've been to India several times because I go to, try to go to the Film Bazaar mm -hmm. every year. I want to see about new Indian films that are independently made in all your, in all your states. And I've been on the juries in Trivandrum and Pune and Iffy. Uh, but my first visit to India was in uh, 1981 to visit a minister who was not answering our letters when we were doing a big program with the Indo-U.S. Subcommission on Education. Mm -hmm. And the program was called Film India. Part of it was a session to drive at this point. And we were getting no answers mm -hmm. from uh, India, even though the Indian government wanted to do this exhibition, and so did Washington. And suddenly there was no answers to our letters, phone calls, and telexes from India. And that's, those were the days in which, of course, there was no mobile phone or anything. And we wondered why we were not getting answers from India. And one of the people from the U.S. subcommission, who was American, said, I think I know why. And the reason he thought was that the two women, the two, my two bosses at the time were women. And he thought that there was a particular minister or official or bureaucrat who was not answering letters because he wouldn't answer letters written by a woman. And I said, but a woman is the Prime Minister of India. <laughs> and he said, precisely. So I was sent to India, not to my first visit, to be firm and not angry with this uh, with this bureaucrat, and uh, the person who suggested that was the problem was right, because as soon as I came to visit this minister, even though I was very junior, I was male, and I was firm but not angry, I said, we'll have to cancel this if we, if we don't get any answers. And this will be very disappointing for Delhi, for Washington, for New York. So that's how I first got to India. Yeah. Uh, and then, and so much has changed um, since 1981 in terms of uh, globalization. How, how do you see India? How do I see India now? I mean, I think India is incredible. I don't understand <laughs> how India exists actually, because you have so many different cultures, you have so many different languages. You have, uh, there's such differences from each of the states in this, yes. in this country. I think that it's amazing that you have the United States of India. I think it's, there's much more difference than there is, say, in the United States of America. Yeah. Uh, but I find it, I find it, you know, extraordinary. Yes. And I'm very fond uh, of India um, because of the, uh, particularly because of the culture and also what I like very much is the film audiences in India yes. because audiences here when you go to the cinema seem to absorb cinema yes. and have a very strong reaction to seeing films on a big screen properly projected yes Yes. Now, coming back to Ray, and you have been um, very uh, pioneering work uh, in, in MoMA uh, since you joined in 1968 in uh, doing uh, Ray's uh, retrospective. Um, and you had op many times you had mentioned that after wa watching Pothir Bachari, um, which was done in the 1950s, um, that that gave you um, uh, some idea about um, life and existence itself. Circumstances could be different. Yes. Like people, one of the, for me, one of the great revelations about cinema is its picture of the world and, and different and different cultures, different countries, different languages, and yet 
uh, the base of all of this difference is humanity. And yes. that's what cinema captures for me. That you could watch Pather Panchali as I did when I was uh, maybe 12 years old and understand the humanity of the film without understanding the language and without understanding some of the rituals. Cultural nuances, yeah. Yeah. But Ray cuts through all that. He cuts through all that by not making his film for an international audience. Yeah. That's the that's the marvel of it. Localized so, but still cuts through that. Yes, it cuts through that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no pandering to yeah. an international place. Yes. And did you find any kind of parallels between um, like his movies and Italian movies and like the Seekers bicycle thieves? Well, I know bicycle thieves is very important to uh, the set. Uh, the set right. Yes. But yes, of course, there, 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 there is uh, very much uh, a relationship in terms of shooting on location, shooting with uh, natural actors, uh, being very clear in the way the film is cut, and having endings that are not necessarily happy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, 